Hello there, everyone. Today I would like to review a book by Father Francis Xavier Lassance. He's a popular devotional writer. Uh, the book I have for us today is Visits to Jesus in the Tabernacle. I picked up mine from a used book sale. It came in this nice box. Uh, this is a little confusing. Father Lassance published another book that is called My Prayer Book. Um, this one is specifically for Visits to the Tabernacle, though. Um, so I hope there's not any confusion on which book is actually being uh, reviewed. As you can see, uh, it's approved by Pope Pius XI there. During his lifetime, even, uh, these books of fathers were highly regarded uh, among the faithful and the clergy. Taking a close look at the book here, um, I have an older edition, I believe, from the early 1900s. We'll see if we can find a date here. This looks like it is at least from 1925, Benzinger Brothers. Uh, it's possible you might find different editions of this um, that have a different leather cover. Uh, the one I have is a leather cover. It comes with a red and a green ribbon you'll see there. It's possible your edition may or may not come with those ribbons. As for the size of this booklet, I think it's a good devotional size. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is our little pocket edition of the Catechism, which is a little bit bulkier. Uh, it's about the same uh, with a cross and just a little bit shorter. And then it's obviously uh, still thinner than the Catechism as well. Uh, so the overall materials of the book, at least again this edition, are quite well put together. It's got ribbons, uh, so you can mark your spot. You can put your prayer cards in there, as I've done. The Infant of Prague, always a good devotion to have. Now, the important thing about buying a devotional book is what is the purpose of it? You may recall I've reviewed uh, books like Blessed Be God or Father John Hardin's prayer book, uh, which those books seem to be kind of devotionals for general purpose. Uh, this is specifically for visits to the tabernacle, and so a majority of the book, uh, we'll say roughly about half of the book, is quite literally just planning out different visits to the tabernacle. Uh, this is explained in the prologue, at which I'll get the table of contents here for you. So you'll see, starting uh, down here, we have a first visit, which starts on page 107. And it takes you a visit pretty much for every month, every day of the month, that is. Um, so you can have a whole month of visits here uh, to 31 visits, which uh, ends around 375 there, if you can see it, uh, which is most of the book. And then there are uh, different prayers during adoration, means of reparation, uh, there's devotions before and after confession, and for Holy Communion. So it does have some general purpose to it, but I think what um, you would need to know when you get into this is that uh, it's mainly dedicated to particular visits. So you could take this on your way coming to or from work, um, or if you're able to stop in your parish at a regular time to work your way through these visits. Um, we can show you how these visits are structured if we flip to the beginning of number 16 here, uh, they start off with just some considerations, verses, uh, broken into sections, and there's some meditations written by him, pulled from scripture, and then you'll go into the fruit of the visit, which is again meditations, and then you'll close with a hymn. Um, and he has a couple different ways that you can structure these, how you can begin them with hymns to the Holy Spirit, how you can close them out with prayers uh, to Jesus in the Eucharist. Uh, that is going to be the bulk of this book, though. Uh, I didn't find many good reviews on this book, so this is why I offer it to you uh, now. You can get an online copy. If you'd like to peruse kind of the uh, visits more in depth, I'll post links in the description to online copies. I believe one is from archive.org. There's another website which has the material just published on that. I would say give it a look over if you think this is something that uh, you find that you have time and you're able to do and that you would like. I think it's a good treasure trove. Um, I would say that other people might not find themselves called or have the time to do a regular visit to Jesus in the tabernacle as the purpose of the book is. Uh, so you might know someone that might be a good gift for or uh, it might not be a good gift for them depending on how their devotional life is structured. So just a good thing uh, to know what you're getting yourself into before you just see a good book by a good author. Uh, if you'd like to check out some of Father Lassance's other books, uh, they, are, are, they are quite well received, as I was saying, uh, by the faithful in the hierarchy as well. 
so take a look at those. I'll see if I can put a description, a link in the description for those as well. Thank you for this short review. I'll hope to have something uh, coming up soon for you. God bless you all and have a wonderful day.